What's up everybody, welcome back to Exotic Astrology again and today I am in my friend's place in Magdeburg, Germany. It's a beautiful day here, not very sunny though, it's cloudy as usual as it is in Europe. And today I thought why not make a video on the difference between Jupiter and Ketu. We all know both of them are significators of spirituality, wisdom, divine enlightenment, higher wisdom. Our connection to God or Gurus, both of them represent these things. But why are they two different planets? They could have been one planet itself, right? Why do they need to be two separate planets if they have the same agenda? Or is it that they have the same agenda but the way they put forth their agendas is different? We will see all of these today and if you are new to my channel then subscribe to it and if you like this video then click the like button. Also check out my other videos on Astrology and Bhagavad Gita, the new series which I have started recently. And if you want to do some donation, then the link to PayPal is there below. You can go and donate some money as you wish. Or if you want a personal consultation, then please let me know in my email which is there below in the comments or in my WhatsApp number. Alright, the beautiful day of Sharad Purnima is there today. And in some places it already went yesterday, the full moon which happened in Pisces. And Sun, Mercury are in the sign of Virgo. Mercury is in its exaltation. Venus and Mars are conjunct in the sign of Leo for the next week or so, I guess. And Venus has already crossed, crossed Mars uh, as per degrees. And Jupiter is beautifully placed in Libra after one year of sitting in Virgo. And Saturn is moving into Sagittarius by the end of this month and Rahu Ketu has settled in Cancer and Capricorn. So now the energies of the universe is slowly slowly stabilizing. Now we can see some peace and some restoration of harmony within the universal structure which is very important otherwise due to the turbulent time especially since April when there were so many retrograde planets and the eclipses and including Saturn moving back and forth from Sag to retrograde to Scorpio and then again stationing and then again going forward to Gandanta in 29 degrees of Scorpio where it is currently and then again moving into Sagittarius. It's been a difficult year for everybody. I can understand that. Now let us come to the point. First things first. What is Jupiter? Why at all do we need a video on Jupiter versus Ketu? Because people do not understand what they actually mean. We all know what they mean. As I said, they all have the same agenda to connect us to God. But how do they connect? How do they make us look to God? That is the where difference where the way of gaining knowledge comes. I will explain that to you. For example, in scriptures, there are said there are different categories or different classes of people. One is the first class category which is that first class category of people represents to those groups of people or to that person who simply by hearing understands what to do and what not to do which means suppose I tell somebody that this is bad do not do this do not drink alcohol do not rape somebody do not kill somebody do not speak lies do not steal anything when I say when I speak I do not mean I when I say I speak I mean the word of the scriptures not that you have to follow anything what anybody says we only have to follow the scriptures and the word of the gurus okay not anybody else not even our own whimsical mind because the mind can cheat us therefore we need to be very careful when we hear the advice of our own mind we have to ask ourselves is it actually telling us that thing which will benefit us or is it just whimsically going on giving us suggestions based on what it likes or what it dislikes. So when you hear yourself, be very careful. And when you are hearing your friend or somebody who is not connected to the wisdom of the scriptures, then be very careful because he or she may have many followers or they may be able to, they may appear that they are guiding so many people but the question to be asked is 
will the guidance of that person help you to achieve the ultimate goal which is spiritual perfection that is why whenever you take somebody's opinion or you ask somebody their opinion be very careful now first class people represents those people who once they hear the word of the divine sages and the rishis the gita the bible the quran the torah the dharmapada all the holy books the principle in principle what they say that go try to go close to god when they hear about that they are convinced that this is correct this is right this is the truth i have to follow it that is the first class because they say first class means once you do and that's it it's done for all you don't have to go and keep them telling again and again and again and again that means if you have to do that they do not belong to that class they are in some other class okay now first class people once they will hear it do not drink alcohol they are like okay i understood i will not take it now then there is the second class people <laughs> second class people are those category of people who they will hear it but they will not believe <laughs> but when they see other people then they will believe it which means they need a deeper level of experience to believe what the scriptures are telling for example scriptures will say do not break the regulative principles for example do not eat meat that will create suffering to others and ultimately suffering to you as a part of the karma do not drink alcohol do not do gambling do not indulge in illicit sex and apart from that do meditation read the scriptures meet holy people go to holy places give the wisdom of the scriptures by reading it yourself to others these are the injunctions the do's and don'ts of the scriptures now when they hear it they are like okay maybe it's true but i don't think so <laughs> but then what happens they see with their eyes some other people suffering or elevating themselves by following the word of the scriptures then they become convinced oh yes the scriptures are telling that if you do this practice this will happen see my friend did he's advancing she did she's she's improving her life tremendous improvement recently two months back uh, one of my friends she called me and said that she was reading the gita from last two three months and finally she called me and said that i am not going to eat meat and i heard when i heard it i was like wow simply wonderful <clears throat> can't get better than this so that's called transformation which is uh, which is perceivable to the visible eye which means from the coming days from coming maybe two months three months she is not going to eat any more non veg so that's very clearly visible her actions in terms of her diet so now when somebody sees that okay this girl is doing some spiritual practices and then her life is improving by that that means i also should do that is the second class of people they do not understand by hearing they need to see other people and they when they see somebody who is drinking too much or maybe drinking once in a blue moon even they suffering then they realize okay scripture said no do not drink now see this person is drinking what is happening that means it is right i should not drink now there is the third category of people third class people refer to those people who will hear it who will see it even they feel that no 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 maybe he is dying but i am an exception to this this will not happen to me i will not be another example he feels like that <laughs> but it is not the case you will also fall if you do the nonsense which the scriptures request you not to do i would not use the word prohibit scriptures request you please do not do this that means the third category of people they will listen they will not believe they will see and not believe and when they themselves experience the harmful effects then only they shall believe this is third class learning because it takes a long time and it comes with a price tag for example this is an example of a person for example who used to drink too much 
and then finally the doctor said you are going to have we have to remove your liver <laughs> or we have to cut it or we have to treat it or it's a terrible situation it's a sorry state for him then he finally understands oh my god finally i have suffered now now i will not do it experience you see they need experience but the problem with these people is it becomes very expensive for them because once you lose your health you lose it completely it may be in terms of anything gambling you may lose too much money if you indulge in illicit sex you may lose all your power your potency your concentration your peace of mind and you may get sexually transmitted diseases or you might degrade your quality of your consciousness and then you try to do meditation it won't happen trust me it doesn't happen or it can be anything experience basically but after experience this third class people and they will understand that okay this is good this is bad i should not do it all right and then there is this fourth category of people who will listen they will see they will experience and even then they will not get their lessons right even then they will not understand what should we do what should we not do in hindi they say kabhi nahi sudhrega <laughs> they also say na iska kuch nahi ho sakta hai this person can never change so that is the fourth category of people their liver is spoiled they are having other problems in their body their mental peace is in doldrums even then they are going on indulging in sinful habits and that will ultimately lead them to destruction it's like the blind leading the blind to the ditch imagine a blind person telling another blind blind person okay come i will take you to the shopping mall come i will take you to the cinema hall come i will take you there i will take you here i'm not saying that blind people cannot walk but do you understand the analogy a blind person telling another blind person yes 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 i will take you there so these people are like that the fourth category even if they have faced the worst traumas the worst tragedies the worst lessons and they have seen people suffering terribly they do not understand why is this because the power of sin which is there in their consciousness is very deep that sin is propelling them to indulge in the sinful activities again and again and again and again and again time and again all right that means how to clean this by taking to spirituality the, the dirt which is there that will be removed <laughs> but then the video was about jupiter versus ketu why do i bring all these things here four classes of people because you cannot understand jupiter and ketu without understanding these four category of people jupiter represents the first category second category and the third category <laughs> you see some you hear something that's like first class second category is you see people then jupiter will tell you look my dear sir he is suffering do not do this then third category you get some lessons you get some pain you get some disease or somebody comes and cheats you in a relationship maybe <laughs> so the third category people they are controlled by jupiter and saturn because saturn gives you experiences realizations very terrible realizations but jupiter saturn will give you warnings okay they will at least give you warnings but the fourth class people for them no warnings that's it they are controlled by the planet ketu that is why jupiter saturn ketu all three represent spirituality but their way is different the group of people they deal with is different jupiter represents the gurus the pandits the rishis the munis who will come and tell you okay this is good this is bad do do this don't do that and then if you hear and you understand that means you are a jupiterian person you are very good you are divine and if you do not then saturn will take care of you he will give you some beating some realizations that is why people suffer when the time period of saturn comes why and why and why only because they are not in the first two levels they are in the third level that without experience they will not learn and then 
the worst is the fourth class. Ketu is the in charge for these people. And that's why Ketu is a headless planet. It is sudden. Because suddenly you are drinking, drinking, drinking. Things have gone haywire completely. And suddenly the doctor said, you are going to die in the next 30 days. So it's finished. You are dead. So Ketu doesn't give you another option. Jupiter Saturn will probably give you an option. All right. So there you go. Their agenda is to tell you that this world will not give you happiness. To be happy, you have to look to the divine source of happiness which is known as Rama in Vedic, uh, in Vedic context because the word Ram means the source of all pleasure. Now when I say Rama I do not mean a Hindu God or a Vedic God. Okay, I mean to say God who is the divine source of all happiness. So this is the only word which the planets are trying to tell you. Go towards God. Do not get obsessed about the things here. That will not give you happiness. But depending on your level, it will be decided who will teach you the lesson. Will it be Jupiter or Saturn sometimes or Ketu? So it is up to you to decide. That is why Jupiter is the most benefit. Because when you just hear something and you do and you don't do the negativity, negative things, your life is very good. Now you understand why Jupiter is the most benefit. And why Saturn gives you challenges and struggles because it tries to teach you lessons because of your own wrong actions and why Ketu is the most malefic. Now you understand the meaning of the word malefic. That is what I wanted to say. Difference between Jupiter and Ketu. Both are spirituality but one teaches you when you do not learn by any other means. So. The conclusion of this video is do not force planets like Saturn and Ketu to teach you things that you can learn by Jupiter. Okay. Please like this video and share it and subscribe to the channel. And if you want questions, uh, consultations, then please let me know in my email. Okay. Until next time from Magdeburg. Until I go to Gottingen. Bye bye. See you.